And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Crazy Tower. Woo! This is a game in which you build a tower. No, it's not Jenga, although Jenga is also a crazy tower. This is uh, kind of like Jenga, except you use different size blocks, like Tetris blocks and cards. So it's blocks and cards. Is there much more to it than that? Well, not particularly, but here's how it plays. In this game, players are going to be building a tower. So you'll start with the a bottom four piece like this here. And on your turn, you either put a block on the tower when you put it on. Can't put it on top of red stuff, so maybe the green one does it. So maybe the yellow player decides that they're going to put, let's see, this block here. Then the purple player goes, and instead of putting a block on the tower, they decide to add another four. So when you add a four, you put the four on top, and then you have to put a block on top of that. So maybe they'll put the block here. Now you'll notice that there are special symbols here on this tower. So what do these symbols mean? Well, this one here, this, when you cover this block, you can remove one and give it back to that player. If you put on this one, you have to play again immediately. So maybe red wants to do that. So red decides they're gonna play here, which says they play again immediately. So then red goes here, and now they're going to pull out the green block. Whoops, the tower just collapsed. That was a pretty stupid move. Uh, red. So let's pretend red did not do such a stupid thing. And purple instead played there, which let them do that. Then red puts a card on top and places one here. And then green decides to do this. And then yellow. Now, possibly at some point, yellow can't even fit that one on there. It gets trickier and trickier. This green arrow here, when you cover this one, you exchange one of your blocks with someone else. That seems like a better, cooler thing to do. Ooh, that might make the tower fall. I think this was the better idea. And you just keep going till the tower falls. Now, when the tower does fall, as you continue to put blocks on top of it, come on, someone knocked the tower over. Man, yellow. I, I believe in you. You can knock the tower over. No. Purple. Well, that's no good. Ooh, we're getting high. It's so the tower is considered knocked over when a block and a card falls off. That would have been knocked over. That's kind of a funny well, one here. Because if just the block falls off or just the card falls off, you're fine. But at some point, the tower will fall over. Uh, or it completely finishes. If someone gets all their blocks out on, on the board, then that's one way to win. So if you get your last block on without it falling, you win. If the tower falls over, whoever made it fall over gets no points. Everyone else will get one point for each cube they have left. So if this is all I have left, I have four points. One, two, three, four. And whoever has the fewest points is the winner. You can also play saboteur mode, where one person is a saboteur, and they just want the tower to fall on someone else's turn. You have to get all yours on the, on the tower, or if you make the tower fall on the architect's turn, the architects win as a group if one of them gets all their blocks in the tower, or if the saboteur, if it falls on their turn. So it's very similar, just one versus all. And then you can play a solo mode where you just try to get everything built, and the solo mode also comes with challenges. Okay, so this game's all about the blocks. It comes in a box here. They're just nice, sturdy blocks. They're fun colors, uh, easy to mess around with. The cards themselves are okay. They have pointy corners, which means they're going to get bent up a lot because they're going to fall. And I felt that problematic. The symbols are okay. I don't find them to be extremely easy to remember, but you just keep the instructions in front of you. That's what they, the things do. They're also a little thinner than I would prefer, but... Again, I guess I'm being picky, but this is a very physical game, right? So being picky in this regard matters a little bit more. But uh, yeah, the components are what they are. They're blocks and cards. Ah, how do I review something like this? You've just seen the game. You can review it yourself by watching it. It's okay. 
the moving the blocks and the cards and the tower. It's an interesting idea. There's a lot of stacking games out there. There are stacking games with just cards, like Rhino Hero, which work really well and use a small amount of space. There are stacking games with blocks, like Jenga, which you know does really well, sells millions of copies. Ca Crazy Tower's like, hey, it's cards and blocks. Sure, not that interesting. You put a card on top, you put the block on, it's entertaining for a while. I would play this, and then when it was over, I'd play something else. I wouldn't buy it, though. And I think that's where kind of the, you know, this is, this will probably get a few people to play it and get it just based on how it looks. Some people will look at it and go, oh, that looks really fun. I'll, I'll give this one a whirl, and it's going to probably sell well at the store. When you see it, you're like, ooh, crazy tower. This guy doesn't look very happy at all. He's about to make the tower fall, and his kids are making fun of him. Sure. Uh, but at the end of the day, I don't know that this one offers anything other than it has those special things. Pull a block off the tower. The tower falls. It's a fast game. It's just not that different than Jenga at the end of the day that I think it's worth getting. This is an alternative to Jenga. And if you really like Jenga and are looking for more, then Crazy Tower is where it's at. So I found it amusing, but then I was done. If I never see this game again in my life, I'll probably forget about it next week, which is unfortunate. And that sounds very negative, but I don't mean it to be. It's not that I hate it playing the game. It's just that it didn't stand out in a crowd of things. So it's okay. Right now, unfortunately, okay games aren't really worth it. Dice Tower Judgment, Crazy Tower, it's, it's okay.